Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about SpriteKit and making games with SpriteKit. Uh, in the last video, we added a text field in, or a SK label node in the upper left corner here. And what I'd like to do in this video is apply a custom font to the uh, to the to this text, right? Um, so uh, so we've created the the label node here, and what I want to do is, is use a font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, FontBook here on, on my computer, and this lists all the fonts that I have, and I've picked out a few fonts here. I kind of like this Arcade, Classic, and Athens. I think I'm going to use Athens here. So what I need to do first is find the font and import it into my Xcode project. And the reason why is this font exists on the desktop here, but when I build the font and you know include it on a phone, this this font won't be available on the phone, so the app has to bundle the font and take the font with it. So we got to include it inside the project, okay? So what I'll do is I'll, you know, in, in FontBook here, I can um, control click or right click on the font name, and there's an option show in Finder. So I'm going to find, you know, Athens Classic right here, and it's a TTF, a true type font. So I'll grab it and drag it into my project, and then it's going to say copy if needed. I'm going to say, yeah, let's copy that. Okay, so there's our font. And then now um, we have to take a, a note here because the name of the file isn't necessarily the name of the font. So our font, I think, is going to be called Athens Classic Medium. Okay, I think this is the name right here, right? So what we're going to do is we got to do a couple more steps. So if you click on the font here, you'll see a preview of it. And if you open up the sidebar here, you'll see some notes on the font that, you know, some information about it. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that this box is checked right there. And the reason that wasn't checked is when I imported it, there was an option in the import dialog box where I forgot to check this because that option appears there too. So this may be checked or may not be checked, but it has to be checked in order for this font to be included with the app bundle. So, so we're going to make sure target membership has a little check mark there next to the name of our app, okay, for this file. Okay, so we got that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to find the file here called um, info.plist. Okay, so we'll click on that. And then these are just, you know, options that you can set for your app. And what we're going to do is if you hover over them, there's a little plus and a minus button here. So I'm going to click on the plus button at the bottom there, and it's going to um, show me a list of other properties that you can use. And what I want to do is I'm going to start typing fonts provided by application. Uh, type it with an uppercase F for fonts, otherwise it doesn't seem to find it if you type lowercase, right? And maybe, it, yeah, see it didn't that time. I'm going to type in uppercase and then it's going to get fonts provided by application. So we're going to choose that. You can just hit return. Okay. And then if we open this up, you can see it says that it's an array and then it's got zero items in there. So what I want to do is get the name here for Athens Classic TTF. I'll just copy it from up here, and I'll go back here. And then when it says item zero, I'll double click in this area, and then I can paste the file name in there. Okay, so I think what this does here is it says like, hey, you know, make sure to include this file you know, as a font that's provided with the application. So our application is going to provide this font. And I think that on the, on the iPhone, maybe that tells the system that, hey, you know, when this app runs, here's an, a, a font that it uses, okay? And then it'll include the, the file, okay? So anyway, so we've got that. So now we got to do one more thing, okay? In order to set the font, if we go back to um, Game Scene, you can see up here, I, I created a new instance of the SK label here with font named, and I use the name Helvetica because that's a default font um, available on iOS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to the name of my font. Now, the name of the font isn't necessarily the name of the file, and oftentimes they are, they're not the same. So um, what we should do is we should check the font name here in font book, okay? So what we want to do is I want to make sure that this says the same thing that we have here, Athens Classic Medium. And it might just be Athens Classic rather than Medium. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell exactly what the real name of the font is. So I'm going to say Athens Classic Medium. 
Okay, and then we'll give that a try. So I'll test it. Oh, it didn't work. I think uh, I think maybe it's just Athens Classic like that. Okay, let's save that and test it again. Oh, there we go, right? So that's the correct font, okay? Um, so anyway, so we got the font. How did I know that? It, you know, it's hard to tell. And sometimes you can look in other apps. So if you have um, an app like Photoshop, or Illustrator, or Sketch, um, if you open up their font list, you can see the actual name of the font in there, and sometimes you can get the correct name out of that. Um, I'm kind of not sure why they don't just show you the correct name for the font here. I, I don't know enough about fonts, I guess. Anyway, so there we go. So now we've got our font. Um, I set the size down here to uh, 20 points, but maybe maybe for Athens Classic, you know, 24 or 28 or something might be better. Um, Let's set that. And yeah, that's a little better, I guess, right? So anyway, so there's our there's our font. We created a custom font. We imported it here. Make sure that target membership is set. And then we go to info P list and we want to make sure we include it in the list of you know fonts provided by application. If you have another font, you can just add another item to the list here. Um, if you don't have fonts provided by application, you can add that one. And then when you um, set the, the font name, you need to make sure that you include the correct font name um, for the font, right? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that that's helpful.